What's up, Bolt fans? Haley Elwood here, and if you're feeling like you're not quite ready for Chargers game day, well, buckle up, because you came to the right place. Over the next 30 minutes, we're bringing you exclusive interviews, analysis, player features, and access you can't get anywhere else. How you do it matters. Well, we've arrived, so let's get you caught up. This is Chargers HQ, powered by Toyota. It's officially week five, and the Los Angeles Chargers will welcome the Cleveland Browns to town. Now, this game features a matchup of two teams that are both three and one. But before we break it down, let's take a look back at last week's primetime win over the Las Vegas Raiders. Keenan Allen is here to take us through it in this week's Mic'd Up, powered by Pernia Law. Yeah, both, sir. Yes, sir. All day. Yes, sir. Let's get it going. Yes, sir. You're going to need some more hands. <laughs> hey. All day. Hang on, brother. Respond. Got you. Respond. Got you. Let's go. I got your back. You got mine. Got you. Let's thank on you. No. <laughs> Same. Different days. Stars shine brightest at night. Best player on the field. Herbert comes out firing. From inside the 15. On third and four. Herbert. Jackson out of the backfield has the first down. Hey! Outstanding. Outstanding. Good, baby. Boy, yes, sir. Help me. I love you, boy. Yeah, yeah, you too, baby. Love you. Yes, sir. Herbert to throw on third and goal. Zips into the end zone. It's caught. Touchdown. Chargers strike first. Donald Parham. Hey, great drive. Great drive. Able to complete the Keenan Allen. Oh, yeah. Eugene, Oregon with Chargers quarterback Justin Herbert and later Daniel Jeremiah previews Browns Chargers. This segment of Chargers HQ was powered by Toyota. Welcome back to Chargers HQ powered by Toyota. Before Chargers quarterback Justin Herbert was setting records in the NFL, he made his mark at the University of Oregon, which was just a quick walk away from where he grew up in Eugene. I got a chance to go back to Eugene with Herbert to reminisce about his days there with him and those who know him best in this week's Homecoming presented by American Airlines. 
I heard there was a story on your first, I think, visit. Oh, I, I, yeah, I've got some good ones. My name tag was spelled wrong. <laughs> they were missing an R in my last name, so it was Hebert. And I was like, <laughs> I'm not coming here. Like, they don't even this know who not, I am. No, they don't know my name. So Justin, we are here in your hometown. There are guys who go to college in the city that they grew up in, but I don't think as close as you did to Autzen Stadium. You guys would literally walk to games. The traffic was so bad that you couldn't really <laughs> get the best spot parking. So yeah. we'd walk and it ended up only being about a 10, 15 minute walk. So it wasn't too bad, but, and we got our exercise in for the day. There you go. Your grandfather, he played at Oregon, what kind of impact did he have, not only just on your personal life, but also your career as yeah. a duck too? Uh, you know, he was a great man and we just learned so much from him and about being a, a good man, about being an athlete, a competitor. Uh, he had so many great life lessons that taught me and my brothers the way. So uh, he was, you know, huge influence for us. Was it destiny, do you think maybe that you ended up going here and playing here and sort of following in his footsteps a little bit? I think you could look at it that way as like it was meant to happen, yeah. but I think it doesn't happen unless you put in the work. And True. If I don't have my father, if I don't have my brothers, my grandfather, I'm not where I am today mm -hmm. without them. Herbert, fire, touchdown! Herbert steps up, has a lane. So give me the recruitment story. Oregon didn't come around initially, right? Yeah, so my junior year, I was gonna be the starting quarterback and ended up breaking my femur. I was gonna go to Montana State with my older brother, play football there, and then late my senior year, Oregon offered me an easy decision. Yeah, what was it like when they finally came calling? Um, I remember the phone calls. I was actually in the Sheldon High School parking lot okay. on the phone with Coach Helfrich, and we were about to go to dinner with some of my friends, but I told the guys, I said, hey, I'm gonna be a little late. <laughs> I, got I got a call. I got a thing. I heard there was a story on your first, I think, visit Oh, I, I, Yeah, I've got some good ones. Mm -hmm. um, my name tag was spelled wrong. <laughs> Which, what was the spelling? What they were the missing difference? an R in my last name, so it was Hebert. And I was like, I'm not coming here. Like, they don't even <laughs> know who not, I am. No, they don't know my name. All right, so here we are at Autzen Stadium. What kind of comes back to you? What kind of memories do you have when you walk up and see yeah, it still? Uh, a lot of big games. And even before I was there, I, I, you know, I remember watching Jeremiah Masoli run over a guy against Oregon State on third down to go to the Rose Bowl. And all the guys and, and all the hours that we put on on that field, running the stadium, pushing sleds, that part was no fun, but yeah. uh, ended up being helpful in the end. Like you said, the work that goes into it. Yeah. So we're walking up to the gate. This is the gate that you would go in with your family, right? Yeah, so this is the end of the walk. And um, you know, if we were fortunate enough, we'd get dropped off right here. But you know, we'd go through the gate, up the stairs to the right, back to the left. Section 12, rows 32 and 33, seats one and two. Still remember. Still remember, and sometimes I look up and see my parents still up there, so. Good seats. Very cool. Good seats right on the 50 yard line. Still a little wave to the fam? Nah, not quite. <laughs> what do you remember about your first game playing here? Uh, first game playing here was a start against the Washington Huskies, and they were currently ranked fifth at the time. Okay. We ended up losing 70 to 21. Threw a pick on my very first pass attempt. I could tell you a lot about that game, but I That's probably, good. Not, We're probably not for the best. Yeah. <laughs> were your parents here? I know my dad was. I know my grandfather was, but I don't think they were expecting me to play. So. Oh, kind of like your pro career. Exactly. Yeah. For your first start. Kinda. Yeah. Similar. <laughs> well, how about this? Herbert's the quarterback on the first snap. No one knew this was coming. Herbert still has it. You mentioned going from 4 and 8 to 12 and 2. Every year the team got better. How did that kind of shape who you are today as a professional player? Yeah, I, adversity is great for, for growth, and, and I think you have to go through that to, to really understand yourself and, and the game. And, you know, losing by, by 50 points to Washington in your first start, obviously tough, but you can't do anything about it. You have to show up to practice the next day and you have to find a way. And then along with that, just kind of what's maybe one thing that you've taken away from your career here at Oregon that has now helped you as you've entered the NFL and now entering year two, too? To enjoy the game. Yeah. Um, I think obviously you want to win. Obviously you want to do everything you can to, to win, but you want to have fun. And You know, I think I play best when I think about that. I know one of the reasons you're back home this week is you have a golf tournament. You playing or are you just hanging out? Um, I'm actually playing on one hole. I can't remember what hole. Okay. I think it's par three, so I get to play that with everyone. There you go. Awesome. We look forward to it. Thank you.
Great, first ever Justin Herbert Invitational. Got it. Did you ever think about doing an event like this? Uh, no, I, I've been to events like, I was at Marcus Mariota's golf tournament and that was a lot of fun. I just never really thought I was gonna have my own. Thank you guys so much for coming out today. Uh, it's for an awesome cause and the impact that this event and all the things that we'll be able to do with it, good luck today. I know that there's a whole element of giving back today and just why is that and so important to you? Eugene was, was so much for me. The kids sports organization that I grew up playing sports, I've worked so many camps with them and, and seen what they're able to do in the community and all the kids that they're able to impact and it's gonna go to a great cause. All right, so I know you do like to golf though in your spare time. When did you start playing? Um, I started playing with my older brother, maybe in, in elementary school. We kind of just went out and, and had fun, hit the ball around, but uh, the game hasn't gotten much better since then, so. <laughs> really, no? I mean, a little bit. I hit the ball a little bit farther, but. Who's the best golfer on this team? Um, that's a good question. I, I think Ty Long, I've played with him, and he's, he's been pretty impressive. But you get Gabe Neighbors out there, and he hits the ball a mile. Look at the traps on that guy. No, seriously. It's, it's kind of fun yeah. to see them out of their football element and yeah. see what they're like on the golf course. And Keenan's pretty much what you'd expect. We got you, my boy Justin Herbert. What I'm seeing. The sharpest dressed man on the course today. I hope these boys can play, because I'm going to get us there. No problem. I can't play, though. You get to know a lot about a guy based off his golf game. How hard are you going to swing? I swing out of my shoes. That's how you start off a tournament. Yes it is, sir. Yes it is. Head, heads up. Oh, oh Billy. Got it. Money. Go. Cash money. You know, hey. Early. You know, if I don't Taking have early, early. early. First ever Justin Herbert Invitational. Mm -hmm. What does it mean to be out here? And also, what does it say about him to put something like this on? Yeah, it's, it's major. Being able to give back to his community, the people that he grew up with, the people that he grew up around, it's always special. How's your game today? Not bad. It's been going good ever since 5.30 this morning, so hopefully we can keep it going. We'll check back in with you later. Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. I stuck the chip through. Did you get the chip? <sighs> Tiger hoods. People who don't know Justin, I mean, they know how good of a player he is, but we all know the person he is. I mean, he, he's unbelievable. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you so much. It's so cool, and like I'm, I'm so happy to be here to help him, and uh, he's doing such great things off the field. It's cool to be here. Good luck to you and the rest yeah. of the guys Thanks. today. We're going to go win it. That's it. That's it right there. Yes. How about the kids? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> we needed it. Yeah. Thank you for coming out right. here. It's great That's to true. see you. How's the golf game? You know, uh, he's a star in the making. Really? Because okay. I've gone golfing with him before, and I don't know if I'd say that. In the making. Okay, yeah. Not quite yet. You know, I, th I think it yeah. speaks to the community that, that is Oregon football. Right, I mean, it doesn't matter if you're Dan Fouts or if you're 45 years later and you're Justin, you're gonna come out and you're gonna support your family. You're gonna come out and support your, your brothers. And he's represented everything that is so good and great about Oregon football. And it takes a guy like him to bring everybody like this together. Had some good shots, had some bad shots, but uh, overall I had a fun time. A little bit of everything. Everything. Did that go backwards? Well, thank you so much for having us out here. We gotta go, but we really appreciate it. You showing us your hometown and also letting us tag along today. Thank you guys for being a part of it. Thank you. And this is Homecoming presented by American Airlines. When we return on Chargers HQ, Daniel Jeremiah and Chris Hayree break down the Bolts week five game in this week's film room. Welcome back to Chargers HQ powered by Toyota. This week five game between the Cleveland Browns and the Los Angeles Chargers should be a good one, featuring two really good defenses to boot. So here's Daniel Jeremiah and Chris Harry breaking down tape of the Browns Miles Garrett and the Chargers Joey Bosa in this week's film room. What's up guys, welcome into a week five edition of Film Room alongside Daniel Jeremiah, Chris Harry here with you. Hey, DJ, we have a gem of a football game this Sunday, and I think what makes it that much more special, maybe two of the best pass rushers in football sharing the field at SoFi Stadium. Yeah, I really think not only two of the uh, the best teams that are playing great football this year, but two of the most talented teams in the league. And to me, it starts, you know, we can look at the quarterback position, but man, when you flip it over to the defense and you look at these two pass rushers in this game and you study Joey Bosa, which we get to see each and every week, 
And then you get a chance to put your eyes on Miles Garrett. It, Chris, it doesn't get any better than this. If you're if you're a young uh, defensive lineman in the NFL and college high school, you're going to want to tune into this game. Yeah, and take notes. And we'll start with Joey. Just the first quarter of this season, DJ, let's fire up a few plays. Yeah, I mean, I could show you. We could spend an hour. I can show you all the times he's been held this year. Um, but I'll show you. I'll show you some sacks here, uh, where he just he does Joey Bosa type things. We'll start with this first one here, and I want to show you just his ability to kind of pop and separate. So watch when he gets going here. Watch his hands and watch how quickly he gets off. So he's able to push you off, and then he can flatten and separate, and then there he is knocking the ball loose there from Ryan Fitzpatrick. But he is such a technician with his hands. And when he jolts you, he can feel that space that's created, and then nobody's better than him at being able to flatten and finish. All right, what's next here? And, and you know, one of the things I've noticed, too, is other guys are getting after it this year, and Joey's presence and what he brings to that line has to be a, a big factor why. Yeah, it impacts everybody. And, you know, with Joey, you never get a feel for exactly where he's going to line up because he can win outside, he can win inside. Uh, he can go through your pads. There's so many different ways he can rush. This time you're going to see him lined up over the right tackle here, and he's going to end up rushing over the guard. So he's going to come down. This is Trey Hills, had a very good year uh, for the Kansas City Chiefs. But I want to watch you. He, he does a wonderful job here. Watch this, Chris, how he gets his balance off. Watch this one step. And once he matches that step, so when you see Joey Bosa, he goes inside right here, boom. And then you see him, once he gets him in that position, then he just opens up his gate, as we like to say. And then you see Trey Smith is down on the ground as Joey's end up right in, in uh, Patrick Mahomes' lap. But that is what he does. He's able to get you off balance. And once he feels that and senses that, it's over. All right, DJ, let's flip it over to Cleveland and Miles Garrett. I don't think that there's a player in the league through the first quarter of the season Play better at the position. He's the most explosive edge rusher in the NFL, uh, and he comes in a big frame, too. It's a big package, and he's able to win every which way. And I want to just show you some, some examples of the challenge anybody would have working against Miles Garrett. Here he is coming off the edge. We start, first of all, with get off, right? The most important thing for any edge rusher, can you explode off the ball? Can you win with speed? Well, that is not a problem for Miles Garrett. When you see how quickly he can collect wins, you watch him get rolling here against the Kansas City Chiefs and poor Orlando Brown. It's over. I mean, it is over immediately. He cannot kick out there fast enough. And then he's got to try and recover and completely open that outside gate. And you see the little rip move here from Miles Garrett. And it is a it is a quick, sudden death uh, once he gets you with speed. There's no recovery. You like to see a guy recover as an offensive lineman. He doesn't give you that opportunity. Coming up, we find out about a local hero who saved lives in his hometown. This Sunday's game against the Cleveland Browns is presented by Audi. Welcome back to Chargers HQ, powered by Toyota. Shifting away from football for a moment, it's time to highlight an amazing individual who did incredible work in his community. This is the story of a local man who risked his own life to save a neighboring family in this week's Hometown Hero, presented by Grant Thornton. There was a large explosion that just shook the house. As I opened the front door, I saw what I can only describe as a movie. There are properties all over this area with debris scattered everywhere. And this is what's left of the home after that large explosion. I knew I had to go inside. The smell of gas was more than enough to overpower everyone inside the house. That was not enough to stop me from going inside. I broke down the gate. I forced the front door open. I saw three kids and I grabbed the kids, took them outside, and then I thought, the structure of the house, the integrity of the house has been compromised. And at any moment now, I could lose my life. The truth is, if I had an opportunity to do it again, I would. If you get the opportunity to do heroic things, please do so. From the bottom of my heart, thank the Los Angeles Chargers and Grant Thornton. That'll do it for this week's Chargers HQ, powered by Toyota. We'll be back next week with more Chargers content ahead of the week six game in Baltimore against the Ravens. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Haley Elwood, good night.